But then I was like, I don't want to talk about sex magic, so. All right, Christine. So in this book, they talk about how um, Ben, at the beginning of the book, he went to this uh, like conference or annual meeting for warlocks. And I was like, that's interesting. Also at my current job, there is a like giant conference that just happened last week. So I was in a very conferency mood. So I thought like, oh, what if we were gonna do a witchcraft conference based on this book? So that's what I've kind of put together a two, a two day, not a whole week, a two day little conference with different sessions and workshops. So I'm so excited. I just went to a <laughs> conference too, like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's like conference season right now, wow. I feel like. So I have to ask before we start here, um, are our hotels comp? Are we are we good with this? Is this no, we, we, we have to pay our own way. All right. Okay. <laughs> cool, 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 um, cool. We specifically didn't put any pricing information in here. So you can contact your current employer and see if they can pay your way. But, um, <laughs> you, have to, you have to call to find more information about the pricing, um, which is never good if that's how you have to do it. So are the conference overview, it's broken into a couple of different um a couple different things so there will be activities sprinkled throughout there's going to be some educational sessions as well and then of course networking sessions um so it's got all the main kind of aspects there that you would expect and so our day one program we're going to start with a opening keynote uh so Drusel drusilla who is basically aunt drew she is going to be starting us off, kicking off the conference about thinking outside the box. We'll have some more details here in a little bit for each of these. <laughs> um, the second thing that day, we're gonna have a tournament. So good thing that we did Michael's <laughs> BLT, BTL right before this, Spellcraft and Magicking. Uh, there'll be an educational session after that. Ben Magnus is gonna share, uh, he's gonna talk about or do a deep dive into cursing ethics, cursing and casting ethics. And then we'll have a final session that day from Reggie Johnson, who's going to talk about <laughs> how to stay organized throughout the chaos of um, witchcraft. So our opening keynote, Drusilla Gratidia Magnus. I don't know if I pronounced her middle name right. But anyway, she is going to be, her topic is thinking outside the box. So with over 2000 years of experience, she knows a thing or two about experimenting with magic and she's gonna share some inspiring words of wisdom for how to make the most of your magic throughout the years, how to stay true to yourself. Cause if you know Drew, she, um, she is her own <laughs> witch staying true to herself for 2,500 years um, and how to get those creative juices flowing. So she'll even share a personal story about how she <laughs> used an old spell to play matchmaker. So she's really going to help you kind of think creatively and get inspired uh, for the conference. And then our first activity is going to be the Spellcraft, the Magic King tournament. There will be a brief introduction to the card game. If you need more information after Michael's, um, Reggie Johnson will also be <laughs> Yeah, go talk to Reggie. Reggie's actually a local champion. <laughs> yes, exactly. So she'll be sharing, um, you know, instructions and an overview of how to play. There'll be some like practice rounds and then sign up sheets will be available immediately following that. So show your skills, let your competitive natures roam free. Um, I know Katie, it sounds like she will love that. Uh, we will also <laughs> have a, we'll also have a chair like the one that Katie was sitting in for the grand prize. I didn't know that, but you can sit in a winner's chair if you win. And you also get a year's worth of free ingredients from the CBD store, wink, wink, which is where Penny works. And that's secretly like behind the CBD store is where you get your magic ingredients. That's a huge prize. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Think of all the shipwrecks you could get. Well, witches and warlocks are so rich anyway. I was having a hard time finding, thinking of a good prize, but so hopefully, hopefully that one's covered. Um, 
And then our first educational sec session will be from Ben Magnus, the deep dive into casting and cursing ethics. So obviously uh, everyone probably knows Ben Magnus. He has a reputation that precedes him. Uh, he's been working with investors and cursing in the corporate world. Um, he's also known for losing familiars and just being an outcast, being on his own for a while. So after years of giving into that re reputation, he's finally ready to speak out at our conference. So join Ben as he explores the eth ethics of casting. He's going to be going over um, a couple examples, some important questions to ask yourself before getting involved with hexing, curse tablets, and corporate casting. And he's also going to be sharing a little bit, a sneak peek about his new familiar training program. Um, so definitely want to stay tuned for that as well. And then our final educational session for the first day is going to be from Reggie Johnson, how to stay organized throughout the chaos. So she's going to be kind of going over a few different main things. Here's just some sneak peeks into her topics. She'll be talking about how to create and keep up with different lists. So your to-do list, your ingredients list, and also how to um, correctly catalog your inventory and how helpful that can be. She'll also be sharing how to organize your, your home, um, especially your, uh, your lab so that you can find anything easily. Uh, she'll be going over how to like alphabetize everything and also how to classify your books in your home libraries. <laughs> and uh, of course, she'll also be going over cleaning and maintenance. So um, how to create a schedule around that when you need to be keeping up with your cleaning in your lab and the importance of a clean lab. So make sure that your labs are all up to OSHA standards there. <laughs> Day two, our second day program. We're going to start with a session this day from Penny Roundtree, and she's going to be talking about how to market yourself as a familiar. We'll then be following with a session from William Saar. That's how you pronounce his last name. I have no idea. Um, embracing the age of technology. We'll also have a workshop this day where you get to learn um, hands-on experience with 3D printing your cursed tablets. And then uh, finally, we'll end with a networking session. 3D printing sounds super cool. Yep, I appreciate that. Um, and then the final thing for day two will be um, a networking event. So there'll be like a familiar match type of event that we'll talk about in a minute. And of course, a happy hour to finish out. So Penny is going to be talking about how to market yourself as a familiar, um, a few sort of subtopics that she'll cover there. The Society of Familiars, of course, everyone is probably familiar with that. It's familiar with the Society wow. of Familiars. Um, it is the best way to get registered. So she's going to go over sort of the process for that. But also, you know, what do you do if that's not enough and you're not finding a witch or warlock to um, apprentice under? So she'll be talking about what you can do during that time to, to help um, get yourself prepared and to find that match. So continuous improvement, of course, is important in building your resume. She'll be talking about um, looking at the job market outside of magic and making sure that you're aligning yourself there in a way that um, helps your magic skills. She's also going to talk about uh, like a regular practicing schedule you should be keeping up with and continuous learning. Um, so obviously if you're here at this conference, you appreciate continuous learning, but classes like these and classes like uh, the one that Ben will be introducing will be important to, to think about there. And then of course, she'll also talk about networking um, which is an often overlooked aspect of how to market yourself as a familiar. So this will be a great chance to grab some tips about networking before the networking event at the end of the day. And then William will be talking about um, embracing the age of technology. So he's going to talk about a few main, a few main topics, um, some modern scrying um, uh, topics there. So how to use like modern screens, such as phones or 
iPads. Uh, um, he'll also be talking about modern materials for cursed tablets. So this will be an introduction to the workshop. Um, so he'll be, he'll be introducing that topic and then he'll actually be doing the workshop that will be following this. So this will be a good um, first step there. And then staying connected. So how to stay connected with your witch and warlock circles through different social media platforms and Zoom calls. And then of course, also digital backup. So making <laughs> sure you use your Google Drive to digitally back up all your spell books and records. So we'll be doing a walkthrough of that as well. Because I know we have some um, very experienced, I'll say, witches and warlocks who may not uh, be as familiar with the Googles as they <laughs> called it in the book. So we'll be going over that. So yeah, again, following that one, we'll have the 3D printing curse tablet workshop. You'll get to understand the material breakdown and, and different materials you can use for the printing, um, how to program your printer, how to write on the tablet after you've printed it, and some different considerations for hiding your new 3D printed cursed tablets. So it'll be a very practical class. And then lastly, we're gonna do our networking and happy hour. So we're gonna do sort of like a match event. That'll be a speed networking, uh, different speed networking activities for matching familiars with witches and warlocks. However, everyone's open to this. So you don't necessarily have to be looking for a familiar or a witch or warlock. It can just be a chance to meet new people. And then we're also gonna, of course, finish the happy hour event because who doesn't love good company and enchanting drinks? <laughs> and yeah that's all i have so hopefully you guys join our conference and we're excited to do uh have everyone there this is so cool okay, that's that was really good honestly yeah, it cool. used to be a just conference organizer that was very detailed it was such a creative interpretation too of the book like you had so many nice book details in there i was gonna do gwen but then i was like i don't want to talk about sex magic so <laughs> that'd be an interesting workshop yeah. or like a workshop on how to plan <laughs> your own orgy or something nice job christina that was cool nice job everyone these were good make sure to check out our videos on btl book discussion, do all of the things.